Guys, yeah, today on Axe Outdoors, we're going to be going over how to use an static compass. So, let's get started. So, first of all, let's just go over to the parts. So, here is your main compass part. So, that uh, tells you your direction you're going in and your bearings. As you can see, all these little marks here goes from 0 to 1, uh, 360. And then here you have your, this is called your index line. This tells you where you're going. So, just to set that properly, there's usually a little seam back here. And you just want to really align the long one with that. And then what's this? This is called one of your ciders. So all this is, is, you see this little slit in here? This little slit here. It lines up with the wire in the back. And then it also has a little magnifying glass. So I'll bring the magnifying glass up so you guys can see through it. So use this just to tell you where you're going. So right now I have a bearing of uh, 240 about so to use one of these properly what you want to do when you're out in the field all you want to do is push that down and then you're gonna have then you want to have this about a 45 degree angle so what are these good for these are usually used for navigation so these will give you a really accurate magnetic bearing and you'd use one of these after you have a mapped out route with all your bearings so let's say we wanted to take something to figure out the bearing of something out in the distance. So what you'd do is you would line up this little slit with this, hold it as level as you can, like this. And then all you want to do is look through your line. So the back of my desk would be at a bearing of 240 like before. That doesn't change. But let's say you know how to find the bearing of a tree or something out in the distance. So let's say you already have the bearing, how would you do that? All you'd really do is hold this level and turn slowly until you can find your bearing. And that is how you find a bearing with one of these if you already have one you had to go on. So as you see here, it's just north, east, south, west. And this one does glow the directions. This one's just a cheap one made by Coleman. It works fine, and yeah, if you want to learn static compass, I'd just pick one of these up for five bucks, really. So, anyways, so use the static compass, and please like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time on Axe Outdoors.